on behalf of the university, a very warm welcome here to the inaugural conference on understanding well-being in the UK. We're delighted to be hosting this event here today at the university. And a particularly warm welcome to, the, welcome to those people who are joining us on the live stream. And I hope that's all working nicely, is it? Yes, it is. Perfectly. Good. There's no more appropriate time to be talking about well-being in the UK. And, look, and looking beyond what we produce to areas about where we live, what we do, and the relationships we have with people day to day. And public and political opinion is increasingly focused on the damaging effects of poor well-being and making visible the struggles of diverse groups of people, including students and youth populations and those living in disadvantage and people who are unemployed and in difficult work conditions and people living in mental and physical health, difficult mental and physical health conditions and thinking about their well-being and, and the environment and the contributory factors to that. It is a significant moment to be ensuring the production and dissemination of high quality research to evidence and inform the policy debate and that is really is the central aim of the What Works Centre for Wellbeing. The partnership between the centre and the academic teams and a range of stakeholder groups has demonstrated, already demonstrated, how we are doing, what we are doing as individuals, as communities and nations is influenced by the communities in which we live, our work, the learning and educational environment and the arts, culture and sporting practices we take part in. A huge number of contributory factors and a very complex problem to disentangle. This work that's already taken place with the centre has played a leading role in driving the generation and use of evidence to, to inform wellbeing policy and practice and in developing rigorous and robust methods for measuring and evaluating wellbeing at both a local and a national level. We've had significant investment, we've been very fortunate in fact to attract significant investment from the ESRC, around a million pounds, in the culture, sport and wellbeing evidence programme led by Brunel, and which very much um, is in, it fits in with and supports Brunel's vision 2030 in leading and, and, and uh, around leading and innovating in research, education and knowledge exchange for the benefit of individuals, communities and societies and indeed Brunel was founded you know to do to do to do research and education that was, which had explicit public good in in the 60s and this this centre and its work very much fits in with that broader ethos of the whole institution. The research is also supports the interdisciplinary approaches within the Institute of Environment, Health and Societies in developing academic and non-academic partnerships both in the UK with a range of stakeholders and this is very important work as well and it's difficult to be doing research where you wish to have societal benefit in any field unless you, you're designing and co-creating and engaging the potential beneficiaries, the potential users and the other stakeholders in that research at the very beginning. And the work that's been done so far has enabled senior scholars to embed research in, in teaching and improve the teaching by making it more research informed both at undergraduate and postgraduate level and it's also allowed the advance of wellbeing science through our doctoral training partnership with the Oxford University and the Open University and therefore assured a more integrated approach between research and education at Brunel which I think is very valuable both for the institution but also for the students and, and other stakeholders. So further evidence is needed on the precise causes of wellbeing improvements in, in, in a range of contexts and the effect of interventions on addressing complex well-being inequalities and the particular characteristics of costs and cost effectiveness on well-being interventions in other words understanding the payback from particular types of intervention the new center the what work the what work center for well-being is well placed to support the future critical work on well-being with a focus on priority topics identified in the first phase of the program and including communities and place work education skills the arts culture and sports and the application of cross-cutting methodologies. It doesn't sound like very much was missed out really in terms of factors but anyway that's, I'm sure there, is, there must be some other things. It's particularly encouraging for Brunel academics to working and rethinking well-being through, through a focus on loneliness and this is a, a subject of considerable study here. The most recent review has focused on initiatives to alleviate loneliness across all ages and in diverse communities and our future work will emphasise conceptual clarity about loneliness and its measures. It will make a contribution hopefully to the cross-governmental strategy on loneliness, bringing together government business 
and all the other stakeholders into trying to get a shared view of, of, what, what the, of, of, the, of, the, of the underlying research and then the policy implications and arising from it. So thank you very much for coming and joining us today for what I think is a very important conference and for collaborating with us and for helping to tackle what is a substantial issue around well-being in the UK. I am sure the presentations and the workshops will stimulate lots of discussions and uh, controversial even and certainly produce innovative ideas for the future direction of policy and practice in this area. So on behalf of the university and behalf of the Vice Chancellor, a very warm welcome to Brunel. I think this type of conference and this type of academic, academic activity is exactly the sorts of things that this institution does very nicely. It's very much part of our ethos to be doing research which is strongly informed by the needs of society and that's exactly how this area is and I think this is important work. So I'm very much welcome to Brunel and I hope you have a very productive day. Thank you.